greetings and a very warm welcome from IIT Guwahati. My name is Dr. Ishikesh Sharma and I will take you through the course titled Blast and Re Impact Resistance Structures. So today what we will be doing is that today we will be having a brief introduction, we will look into the course content, we will look into what we are going to learn, we will look into the target audience, the syllabus as well as the uh, textbooks that will be required for this course. So let us start the course. About the course, what does it offer? What we will be trying to do is that we will be trying to provide an in-depth exploration of the behavior of structures subjected to extreme loadings. Here when we talk about the extreme loadings, we are quantifying them as blast loading and impact loading. Both of these loadings can occur independent of each another or in most of the cases nowadays they occur simultaneously also. So what this course is trying to do is that during this ever changing global scenario, we are trying to equip with, with the tools so that the audience, our students and as well as the practicing engineers are able to analyze the structure in this extreme scenarios, they are able to predict the responses and also they are able to design the resistance structures subject to this type of extreme loadings. In this course, we will be dealing with the single degree of freedom approximation that is the SDF analysis and the multiple degree of freedom approximation that is the MDF analysis. Additionally, the students or I would say all the uh, target audience will learn about the signatures of the loading, the blast loading which are, is often characterized as a pressure impulse loading, the impact loading which is most of the times characterized by missile type of loading or uh, impactor loading, the different mechanisms of the structure like its different failure mechanisms such as buckling mechanism, compressive mechanisms and the other different mechanisms and we will try to equip with them the skills to analyze as well as design these structures so that our people are able to analyze them subject to this type of threats and to design new and modern structures that can withstand this type of loading. So the course content will be dealing with the dynamic response of the structure the different analysis and the design method as well as covering the different philosophies behind those analysis and design method and in turn different type of failure mechanisms will also be looked upon. As I said earlier, the target audience will be BTEC students, MTech students, PhD students as well as all the practicing engineers who are dealing with this type of loading in their day to day life. Though this structure requires a prerequisite of structural dynamics. But in this course, we will be also covering the basics of the structural dynamic course so that everyone, whether he is coming from different backgrounds, he is able to cope up with these courses. So just sit back with us and try to understand this course. All the prerequisites, everything will be dealt in this course. So moving ahead, I will try to give you a week wise break up of the course. In week 1 and 2, we will be dealing with the introduction to the extreme events. What are extreme events? Why are they called the extreme events? How blast and impact will is categorized into extreme events? Their mechanisms. Then when we move to week 3, 4 and 5, we will be dealing with the structural responses, the different type of energy absorbing systems, the different design philosophies and the overall pictures of how to deal with this type of scenarios. When we move to week 6 and 7, we will be deep diving into the blast loading, the mechanism of the blast loading, different type of materials that propagate the blast loading, different type of scenarios in which the impact loading occurs, their signature, their approximation from the real life to the mathematical world approximation and the analysis method. In week 7 and 8, we will be switching over to the analysis method. In analysis method, as I told earlier, we will be dealing with the single degree of freedom approximation multiple degree of freedom approximation, finite element simulations and different types of other methods. And after that we will be looking into the design philosophies, why th those structures will be analyzed as per the given design philosophies, a parity between the old design philosophy and the current design philosophy that is based on the performance based design. In week 8 and 9, after we have learned the analysis method, after we have learned the design method, we will be dealing with the in-depth analysis of the different failure mechanisms like buckling mechanisms, collapse mechanisms and other 
failure mechanism so that we understand how the structure is going to behave in this extreme type of events. In the extreme type of events, the structure can be subjected to simultaneous loading as well as the combined loading. After we have learned these things in week 10, 11 and 12, we will be dealing with the advanced analysis that is we will be dealing with the finite element analysis and we will try to see how this structure is behaving. Okay. So, we will go uh, step by step uh, wise from single degree of freedom system to multiple degree of freedom system, then FE analysis, the in depth failure analysis methods and then the finite element analysis method. So, we will be uh, building our course step by step. So, here there is a detailed lecture plan, the lecture has been broken up in 12 weeks okay. and each week will have its different lecture components. And as I said earlier, this is the in-depth breakup of the syllabus. Okay. This thing is also available in the website also. Some books and references that we are adding now as we go progress in the courses, uh, uh, we will be, uh, uh, we'll be talking about different other uh, uh, references also. But for starting the dynamics book by A.K. Chopra, a very old book on impact by W. Goldsmith. There is a US Department uh, of Defense Manual that is UFC 33402 uh, that is nothing but uh, augmentation of TM51300 manual that was used earlier. And our own code IS code 4991 and I am also happy to inform you that uh, we have revised this code now and our course uh, we have also uh, given a new code also right now. So, those code also we will be dealing into. Okay. And there will be online assignments with the each modules. Thank you.